Hello guys, in this video I will give the general definition of a determinant and its some basic properties. Okay, let's look at the general definition of a determinant. A determinant is an application from the space of uh, n times n matrices over k to k such that the determinant is linear with respect to every column when the others are fixed. That is this one. If a matrix has two similar columns, then its determinant is zero. The determinant of identity matrix is one. As you see here, we have no formula to calculate the determinant of a matrix. We know only this operation or application and these three properties. That's all. And using these properties, we will define how to calculate the determinants. Okay, let's look at the meaning of linear. I think uh, you know the meaning of a linear application or linear function. I will write a definition of linear function here. Suppose that we have two real numbers, alpha and beta. And we have any x and y from the domain of f. If f of alpha x plus beta y is equal to alpha f of x plus beta f of y, then we say that f is linear function. Let's look at an example. The determinant of 6, 5, 4, 7, minus 10, minus 3, 12, 25, minus 1 is equal to 5 times the determinant of 6, 1, 4, 7, minus 2, minus 3, 12, 5, minus 1. In order to get this determinant, you see we write uh, the second column as 5 times 1, 5 times minus 3, here 5 times 5. Okay. This is 5 times minus 2. This is 5 times 5. And then using the linearity for the determinants, we factorize 5. You see, it will be this one. Let's look at this one. We have this determinant and uh, the third column is 4 minus 3, 3 minus 2, and 10 minus 4. Then using the linearity, instead of uh, this determinant, we can write this one minus this one. You see here we don't touch the first and second columns. Okay, let's look at this one. You see here the first column and the last column are the same. In this case, using the uh, third property, the determinant will be 0. Let's look at the basic properties of the determinants. A determinant of a null matrix is 0, because the null matrix has similar columns. Suppose that A is an n times n matrix and C1, C2, and Cn are the columns of this matrix. We denote A prime the obtained matrix by means of the following elementary operations on the columns of A. First one, we multiply the ice column of the matrix by lambda. Here lambda is different from zero. Then the determinant of A prime will be lambda times the determinant of A. Second one, we replace the ice column of the matrix with ice column plus lambda times J column. Here I and J are different. In this case, the determinant of A prime will be the determinant of A. Third one, we replace the ice column and J column. Here I and J are different from zero. 
then the determinant of a prime will be minus determinant of a. From these three properties, we get this consequence. If a column ci of a matrix a is a linear combination of the other columns, then the determinant of a will be zero. Okay, let's prove them. Let me prove the first one. For the matrix of A, I will use this notation. A is C1, C2, CI, CJ, CN. If we use this elementary operation over I's column, then our new matrix will be this. A prime is C1, C2, lambda C i, C j, C n. This. Okay, let's find the determinant of A prime. Determinant of A prime will be determinant C1. C2 lambda CI CJ CN and here using the linearity for the determinants gives this one lambda times determinant C1 C2 CI CJ Cn. This is equal to lambda times, you see this expression is the same as this one, a, then it will be lambda times determinant a. Okay, from here, the determinant of a prime is equal to lambda times the determinant of a. That's it. We proved that it's true. Let's look at the second one. Here you see, as I said before, in order to get the matrix of A prime, instead of uh, I colon, we write I colon plus lambda times J colon. In this case, the determinant of A prime is equal to the determinant of A. Okay, let's prove this. And here, and uh, I will use uh, this notation for the matrix of A, C1, C2, C i, C j, C n. Then the matrix of A prime will be this, C1, C2, C i plus lambda C j, Cj and Cn. Let's find the determinant of A prime. The determinant of A prime will be the determinant of C1, C2, Ci plus lambda Cj, Cj and Cn. You see here, we will use the linearity for the determinants. Then it will be determinant C1, C2, Ci, you see here Cj, and Cn, plus, we factorize lambda here, lambda determinant C1, C2, Cj, Cj again, and Cn is equal to, you know this expression is the matrix of A. Because of this we write 
determinant of a plus lambda times you know here we have the similar columns uh, in this matrix and this one and this one because of this the determinant of this matrix will be zero lambda times zero is equal to this is zero from here determinant of a then this shows that the determinant of a prime will be the determinant of a that's it let's look at the third one here in order to get uh, the matrix of a prime we replace the i's column and j's column our matrix a is this c1 c2 c i c j c n then from here a prime will be this c1 c2 we replace i's column and j's column then it will be c j then c i and the last one will be c n here we must prove that the determinant of a prime is equal to minus the determinant of a here i will take this type of matrix b is equal to c1 c2 c i plus c j c j plus c i c n you see here this column and this one are the same because of this the determinant of b will be zero here i will try the determinant of this matrix by a and a prime okay determinant of b is the determinant of c1 c2 c i plus c j c j plus c i c n for this comb i will use the linearity of the determinant determinant c1 c2 here it will be c i c i plus c j and c n plus the determinant of c1 c2 c j c j plus c i and c n then here in this determinant and this one i will use the linearity for uh, this column and this column then it will be determinant c1 c2 ci this ci cn plus the determinant of c1 c2 ci this is cj and the last one is cn plus instead of this determinant determinant c1 c2 c j c j this one c n plus the determinant of c1 c2 c j here c i and c n okay You see in this determinant, 
we have the similar columns CI and CI because of this this determinant will be zero here these columns are the same this and this you see because of this the determinant of this matrix is also zero you see this is the matrix of A this one and this one is the matrix of A prime because of this from here we write determinant A plus determinant A prime is equal to this zero from here the determinant of A prime is equal to minus the determinant of A okay that's all guys you will see in order to calculate the determinants of matrices these properties will be very helpful in our next lessons i will explain you how to calculate the determinants that's it see you guys next lesson